I'm in a relationship with New York. City. This is my life in New York and today if it's not too crazy cold I will go ice skating. Let's see how we go. First breakfast in Brooklyn. Okay good morning. Quick weather update. It's freezing cold. It's literally freezing in Celsius degrees. I think it's around zero and I barely slept. Went to sleep like around 10 and then I woke up at midnight thinking it might be 7 a.m. and uh, time to get up so I checked my home and it was like just past midnight and I was like okay woman you slept two hours go back to sleep but I couldn't because I was so excited and I think I slept again at four it's a train where am I? Uh -huh. Brooklyn I would definitely live in Brooklyn or Williamsburg which is like the same thing I think Williamsburg is even cooler now but yeah, I would definitely live here. What the? Yeah, so maybe not in this particular building. <laughs> By the way, yesterday I walked for, I think, almost 10 hours. I was on my feet, so I was really feeling it by the end of it. But today I'm fresh again, so we are ready for ice skating. Taking it up a notch. And here we are at Clementine Bakery. Now I'm in Queens, actually for the first time ever, I've never been to Queens and I'm walking to Queens Plaza on my way to Central Park, coming from Brooklyn, so I just took the subway here. Oh, and there's Santa coming, look at it, look at it. And what I actually wanted to show you is like there's like lots of new construction happening here. <laughs> and there's Santa. Great views to Manhattan, which is just over there. So I like it. Nice cafes as well. Up and coming. Oh, maybe I should have another tea. It's a feel like having another tea. I'm not really satisfied. Why not? great great tea and there's a bathroom in there as well which is not in all cafes here so that was Central Park. Ladies, do you want to ride Central Park? And this behind me is Millionaire's Hall. They live up there in their super tall skyscrapers. And look down at everyone so i wouldn't want to live in those super tall ones i've seen some youtube documentaries about it so apparently they make a lot of noise when they bend in the wind and there's lots of problems with them and i mean as there would be i mean look at it it's insane and how long you have to wait for the lift ah yeah they said they have to shut down the lifts every time when there's a lot of wind and then you're like stuck in your apartment and it's like 
bending. So yeah, no thanks. No super tall skyscraper for me. I would be living in Brooklyn in a normal building, but fancy. <laughs> and yeah, that's again only happening when I have a million subscribers. So please <laughs> help me to live in Brooklyn. And then there will be lots of exciting New York videos. It's so cold that my face is freezing off. My nose is very red already. And I am on the way to Woolman Rink, I think it's called, where the ice skating is happening. Hopefully it's not too busy. Oh, it's so nice. It's nice in winter also. There is the ice skating. It's like medium level crowded, but I'm gonna do it. So there's even coffee and food behind me. Ice skating in Central Park, a must do on my list. And the millionaires are watching from their tall, from their high horses. <laughs> Next person, step down. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, one adult and one skate rental, thanks. Hey. Awesome, thank you. Hey. It's happening. skating in Central Park it's happening so yeah the first the first five minutes were a bit rough because I haven't been skating for a long time but now it's like riding a bike it all came back to me so far so good no falls in Central Park check done and it was amazing it was so much fun so yeah as a professional ice skater which I'm not but I mean I was ice skating since I was two years old I have to say that yeah the ice could be maintained better and it shouldn't have like wobbles in there but it did but it was still a lot of fun but if you're a professional ice skater this might not be for you but if you're just enjoying the views and want to have fun, thumbs up from me. Um, go around noon because the light is really nice. So I chose a really good time to do this. And now we are going to Hudson Yards, to the sky um, edge sky deck. And we will look down at New York, just like those millionaires. Actually, it could be, it could be called billionaires role because what's a million these days? Nothing. Everyone has a million, so it could be billionaires row. But anyway, so those guys up there uh, will be looking down, and the weather is perfect as well. So I think it will be really nice for the views. So stay tuned. That's what's coming up next on this channel. <laughs> but first, a quick walk through Central Park because we can, and because it's really nice, even though it's winter and it is pretty cold. But in the sun, it's okay. Oh, there's no sun. There's shade from that super tall skyscraper. Look at that. It's making the shade here. Ay, 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 billionaires. So annoying. But because it's also a very slim building, we are out of the shade here. <laughs> I love Central Park. It's so nice. I have a whole video on Central Park on this channel, but it's really bad. Like I rewatched it the other day and I was like, oh my God, I had no idea what I was doing back then. It's like long and boring. If you like long and boring, that video would be for you. <laughs> and I mean, it does show Central Park. Horses. really isn't that bad 
I mean, I forgot what it was like because I didn't have a real winter for so long, but it's okay. I mean, my nose is frozen and my fingers, but apart from that, she'll be right, mate. But it's also a beautiful sunny day, so. Did you destroy the grass? <laughs> I've seen it, I know it was you. I feel like such a tourist filming the squirrels because only tourists do that. To New Yorkers, squirrels are nothing. So maybe it should be cooler around the squirrels. There is another Christmas market coming up. Ta-da! Christmas market. Okay, I think we have to do this. Here it is. It's really nice because my fingers are frozen and it's nice and warm. Oh my god, it's so sweet. It's like pure sugar. <laughs> Everything has sugar in it. It's nice though. Very rich. And I am at Columbus Circle. There you have it. And I'm gonna walk to the um, edge sky deck now to hell's kitchen look at this building it's like a mini flat iron it's actually nicer nicer than the flat iron i like it maybe this is where i shall move to when i have a few billions very cool okay i'm walking on broadway because it's nicer than 8th Avenue, I just decided. And we have to get a move on actually because I have a reservation for that sky deck. So you need to do an online reservation. And don't want to be late. Usually I never have any appointments when I'm in New York. I just play everything by ear. But this is my first appointment, so very stressful, very stressful. But I can do it. I, I believe in myself. Even though there might be shops on the way, but we have to just keep moving. Reaching my daily sugar intake, check. I finished the whole thing. It was very sweet, but it was really good. It really tasted like melted chocolate. Highly recommended. Columbus Circle Christmas Markets Vegan Hot Chocolate. Thumbs up. Where are they? Where are the bad boys? I want to meet them. I have a strong feeling that Hell's Kitchen is all about the food. It smells like pizza. It smells nice. It's so cheap. 150 for a slice. But I'm on a sugar high and I will have pizza tonight for dinner, so I'm saving myself. probably it up there but it's so bright I can't look directly at it and this is Hudson Yards Empire State Building which we will soon see from above and here we are at Hudson Yards there's the vessel we're gonna find the entrance now and then we go all the way up and here we are So this is all very quick. I mean also because I booked my ticket online, but also the lines were very short and no lining up super quick. Ooh. Very cool. Uh -oh, where do I go? Oh, wow. happening
And you can also climb this thing. You're literally on the edge here. made the stairs Christmassy here. <laughs> Very cool. Highly recommended. It's about three o'clock now on a very sunny winter's day. Perfect. It would be very nice during sunset as well. But we won't be here at sunset, will we? Because we will be shopping in one of the most amazing shopping centers for Christmas. So I heard from other YouTubers, so let's check it out. And this is Hudson Yards shopping center. And now we shall shop. It's very Christmassy, it's very pretty. And I haven't bought anything yesterday. If you have seen yesterday's vlog, you know. So today we shall buy stuff. There's a vessel behind me that I had the pleasure to climb all the way up when they just opened it, I think 2018. And then they closed it because too many people were suiciding from there. I don't know. But yeah, since then it has been closed and you cannot go up anymore. But I've been up there, but it was before I had my channel. Okay, I love this place. I can't, but I do look like an angel, I have to say, like the angel that I am. Look at it, like a polar bear. I love it. I need this. I resisted the temptation to buy the white coat. I can't carry it, so... And now the sun is about to set, so the light is even nicer now out there. I feel like I should be trying this. I have no idea what it is, but it says matcha and one of those things, and it says strawberry. I think this is the moment. Thank you. That was really good. I came out here because it's extremely pretty right now. What can I say? The vessel behind me and lots of pretty Christmas lights. And maybe, maybe I have a quick look at the High Line. So I just interrupted my shopping experience for a moment. So the High Line is really, really nice to walk in summer. It's in my other New York video, in my summer New York video. And I don't know what it's like in winter, but we shall find out. <laughs> But I'm not gonna walk the whole thing because it's too cold. Just like a quick, a quickie, highline quickie. I have to say matcha lattes here in New York, next level. So if you're a fan of matcha latte, you have to move to New York. You've got no choice. Sunset light. And I was just up there earlier. So yeah, it's not as green as it is in summer, which was expected, but it's actually still really nice. So yeah, there you have it, the High Line. And again, just to explain, this used to be like a above ground train line here. Then they made it into a walking path. So you walk up a few levels, and you can spy into people's apartments, <laughs> which is really cool for us, the people who spy, not the people who live there. 
like those poor people and they pay a lot to live here and then everyone can see what they do let's have a look let's check it out let's see what they're doing the lights are on in this apartment we shall spy <laughs> evil laugh well they all have their curtains down but there are some curtains open someone is watching tv in there now if you cannot afford a tv walk the high line and just spy into people's apartments great advice as usual on this channel subscribe for more travel advice sunset behind me really beautiful sunset highline experience my hands are officially frozen off and my nose too it is cold all we need now is some snow come on new york but it's blue skies so i would recommend in winter to do the high line just before sunset like around 3 30 p.m start the high line and then it ends like this you can go shopping and reward yourself for the walk so that would be my expert opinion on how to do the high line and hudson yard shopping center okay we are back shopping it is on. I still haven't bought anything. I'm so good. Nice and warm. So they really know how to heat in winter, which is really good. Not like in Sydney where nothing is heated in winter. I mean, it's not as needed as here, but... Are you ready for your deja vu? I went to Kiehl's and I got samples again. They're so nice. They always give me samples. And I needed eye cream because I don't have any with me and my eyes need something so thank you Kiehl's love you guys <laughs> oh Sara I shall have a look in there now and we bought something at MAC sparkly eyeshadow that the lady in there was wearing and I loved it and I was like I'm having it too okay finally I bought something I don't know why it took me so long it was so difficult and now maybe sunglasses and we finally found boots those and I have to wait they will bring them out in my size they are perfect and then these old ones will go right into the bin don't want to see them anymore over it and we're buying this too success shopping <laughs> alrighty then shopping was very successful and now we are heading to spicy moon for dinner i just googled a few options i actually wanted pizza or burgers but i actually feel like something a bit healthier and i think this is a bit healthier so we're going to spicy moon in the east village hudson yard has a fancy modern subway station And this is the East Village. It's dark, so you can't see much, but I would say fancy. I like it. No, sorry. Everyone is asking me here if I'm Jewish. And so I have to apologize that I'm not. Very cool. Very cute. Okay. No, I'm not, sorry. <laughs> Um, no, sorry, no friends. <laughs> Apparently this is a very Jewish area here. So that might explain. Maybe they were giving away something, but not to non-Jewish people, so not to me. This is a really nice neighborhood. This is what it looks like. Very fancy places to eat. And hopefully my spicy moon will be fancy too very New York, very fancy. I mean, obviously we are in New York, so <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised.
I mean, that looks nice too, but it's not the spicy one. Oh, there it is. Found it. was a long day so the food was really good just a lovely atmosphere and it was a yeah very nice place everyone else was on a date I was the only one being on a date with myself so it was still very romantic and now bedtime <laughs> <laughs> 